Merry Christmas to all of us. Unfortunately, it does just doesn't look that way. Uh, as uh, it's widespread rain around here. There is a cold side of the system, but it's not around here. It's farther to our west and actually to our southwest, wrapping up in portions of South Dakota, Nebraska and Kansas. Meanwhile, there's a lot of moisture. We've already seen two plus inches of rain in some cases in central Minnesota with widespread totals over an inch, mostly because we're getting a feeder band all the way from the Gulf of Mexico into the upper Midwest. So lots copious amounts of moisture for the month of December. Uh, with just a, a tremendous amount of rain. We've seen one round already. We're expecting more later this afternoon, this evening and tonight. Now the, I know the big question. I get this a lot this time of the year. If we ever get liquid as opposed to solid, AKA snow, how much uh, snow would this be if it were snow? How much would our rain be if it were snow? That depends and it depends on your temperature. There are a lot of factors going in, but on average, if you want a gross generalization, you just say it's a 10 to 1 ratio, meaning for every one inch of liquid, you get 10 inches of snow. So in this case, let's say, for example, the Twin Cities Metro ends up with an inch of rain total. It would be 10 inches of snow. In this case, there may be a lot of spots in central Minnesota, including parts of the Metro. They get two or three inches of rain total, which means that would be 20 or 30 inches of snow. Again, a gross generalization that can vary wildly depending on the overall circumstances, but it gives you an idea that if the temperatures were 20 degrees colder, this would be a very, very white Christmas, but not in the cards this time around as there's just a lot of moisture, and a lot of warm air. So walk through Futurecast, getting a bit of a lull uh, at the present time, take us through the lunch hour, but the rain rolls back in. That extra moisture and warmth shoves any wintry precipitation, the freezing rain sleep combo in western and northern Minnesota out of our neck of the woods. And then it's just a plain old rain and a steady heavy rain in some cases through this evening tonight and in through the first part of your Tuesday before starting to uh, push its way out from south to north. As it does, we hang on to the precipitation long enough Tuesday towards Tuesday evening may get a swath of light snow in northern Minnesota. We'll see even if argument's sake we get it. A grassy surface coatings at best just because things have been so warm and the ground is actively wet, which is also not good for a snowfall accumulation, but uh, for the most part, just not much, if any at all. For the Twin Cities Metro, maybe a snowflake, but that's a stretch. Outside of that, cloud cover just kind of lingers in through the day on Wednesday before kicking that out. Thursday, seeing more sunshine and more well above average temperatures. That includes our Christmas Day with record style warmth. It's going to be wet now, not actively raining all day. We're in a lull now, but the rain will roll back in later on this afternoon. Record highs expected to be 53 degrees. Some steady rain tonight could see an inch plus of additional rainfall across a lot of central and southern Minnesota. That will take us through the overnight overnight low at 43 as temperatures gradually fall. And then we just continue to slide a little bit over time through the day Tuesday. So wake up temperatures in the low 40s, afternoon temperatures in the upper 30s as the rain does taper into the lunch hour. Here's that 70 forecast after a record warm and just a ridiculously wet Christmas day. We start to taper things off. Can't rule out a mix again for some, but I put that as a, a speaking of gross generalizations. I put that as uh, that just in case we happen to get a couple of snowflakes, but few and far between. Watch out your Wednesday morning commute or Wednesday morning time frame will start to freeze things up. Most of our roadways should be dry at that point, but there will be some sneaky slippery spots as we fall back below freezing and there's a lot of water around. Wednesday afternoon, we're back in the upper 30s, 40 or so on Thursday as we break in some sunshine and we've round out the uh, year of 2023 on a very mild note. Temperatures even by Christmas Eve or excuse me, New Year's Eve standards still almost 10 degrees above average with highs right about the freeze mark.